Welcome back to Jump Into Trends with Jen. For June 2017, we'll be reviewing Viseart's new Petite Pro Palette. Now let's get into some swatches. brush swatches appeared a little bit better on the skin, um, where the fluffy brush was a little patchy in application, especially the matte eyeshadows themselves. So as far as how these shadows applied on the eye, um, I was actually a little disappointed. I love Viseart a lot and I have a lot of their fuller sized palettes and I've never really had issues with them as far as application. However, since this is a newer palette and it's kind of a smaller version of it, I do feel that the quality was compromised a little bit. When I went to apply the shadows to the lid, they wouldn't necessarily stick. And then when I went to blend them, they would wipe away with a blending brush. If I had to give it a rating, I would give it probably a two and a half out of five. Only because the shimmer shadows are really pretty, you can make them work. I did end up using Fix Spray to get more pigment payoff out of the colors. Um, however, I really had to make them work. So overall, this palette was a miss for me. I wouldn't recommend it to anybody, um, unfortunately. Um, but I do recommend Viseart as a brand in general because their larger palettes are high quality and very, very versatile as far as applications are concerned. 
So thanks for tuning in to this month's Jump Into Trends with Jen. Be sure to check out Multimedia Makeup Academy at www.mma-makeupacademy.com.